What up techies? If the Tesla Model Y is anything like its predecessor the Tesla Model 3, it will be one heck of a car. The Tesla Model 3 was named Car of the Year by Motor Trend and received 5-star safety ratings from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and Euro NCAP. The Tesla Model Y should be at the top of your list if you're in the market for a new electric car. It's expected to be released in 2023, so let's discuss some key features. But before we do please subscribe and click the bell symbol to make sure you don't miss future videos. Elon Musk stated that the next software update for Tesla cars would allow drivers to choose the temperature at which the cabin automated overheat protection functions. Tesla automobiles have an air conditioning technology called cabin to overheat protection, which, according to the Model 3 instruction manual, lowers the temperature inside the vehicle for several hours during hot weather. This feature can operate without air conditioning in this situation, merely turning on the fan. Suppose the cabin temperature rises beyond 104 degrees Fahrenheit. In that case, it will turn on the air conditioning and stay that way for the next 12 hours, or until the battery level drops to 20%. Full self-driving beta 10.13 has been deployed by Tesla for the first time. For a while, Musk and other members of the Tesla community have been discussing the beta version of 10.13, and there is clearly a buzz around each new software release, but certain changes are more critical than others. Recently, Musk indicated that the entire self-driving 10.13 upgrade was mostly focused on improving left turns. Still, it has emerged that the update includes enhancements in animal identification, speed limit sign reading, and more, consider the most recent Cybertruck news. One of Tesla's most delayed goods is this truck. Other firms exporting their own trucks, such as the Rivian R1T and Ford Lightning, may be a contributing factor. Some wonder if Tesla is squandering its chance with its first few thousand deliveries. Regardless of how long it takes for Tesla to progress, Elon Musk doesn't think it makes a difference. Edra has built the world's largest gigapress, which is 9,000 tons, and it will be utilized to build the Cybertruck body. According to one German publication, Tesla's vehicles and equipment are well known to these manufacturers, which provide components and equipment to Giga Berlin and Giga Shanghai. These firms are believed to have purchased new systems for constructing Cybertruck drive units. Giga Factory Texas expects to install the Cybertruck's machinery in early July. The device is expected to generate roughly 750 zero drives each year, which is in line with prior forecasts from Elon Musk for the Cybertruck. The beginning production of 250,000 cyber vehicles per year would be possible, says Elon Musk. Today, purchasing a Tesla with a basic lifetime connection is no longer possible. For orders placed after July 20, 2022, Tesla no longer offers lifetime basic connectivity. It will expire in eight years. According to Tesla, these data-intensive functions, including music streaming and real-time traffic visualization, are an integral element of all Tesla vehicles and further enhance the driving experience by offering access to two vehicle connection packages, basic and premium. Tesla is close to integrating Steam, an online video game store and distribution platform, into its in-car entertainment system, which would lead to a massive increase in the number of games played in Tesla cars. To demonstrate the potential of electric vehicles, the CEO of Tesla, and a friend recently traveled to the base camp of Mount Everest in their Tesla Model X and Model S. The traveling duo modified Models Y and X to withstand the tough conditions. Tesla's supercharger network made this travel possible, as there are currently more than 8,700 stations in China, many of which are located in rural areas. As there were no motels nearby, the two men could sleep in their cars all night in Model X and Y camp mode which allowed them to travel an average of nearly 160 miles on a single charge. They eventually arrived at the North Base Camp at 17,060 feet after five days of travel at an altitude of 5,200 meters. Tesla is slated to upgrade its fast charging network, including a brand new V4 supercharging unit with a higher power, which is a tremendous achievement for Tesla and electric vehicles. There have been no official announcements on the shape or dimensions of Tesla's V4 supercharging unit, but sources say the new model will be a bit taller than the previous model. It appears that Tesla will be using a different shell for the V4 design than the current V2 and V3 models, though we have yet to determine the new shape. In a tweet, John Harris, a Twitter user, posted a technical drawing of a planned supercharger station in Danvers, Massachusetts, which includes alternative supercharger stations. This could be part of the preparation for T, which is expected to be unveiled in 2017, according to Musk. Tesla Vision will allow the car to see that a collision is about to occur with a 100% likelihood before it happens.
seats. The car will be able to tension the seatbelt ahead of time and even alter the airbag deployment because the car can see it, not just feel it. When will Tesla lower car prices? We know that Tesla has raised electric vehicle prices several times, making them significantly more expensive than they were just a few years ago. The most recent increase in June raised the price of the entry-level Tesla Model 3 to $65,989. Elon Musk has revealed when Tesla will decrease car prices. Texas-built standard range Model Y is also available, and it's estimated to cost $61,909 and 90 cents. Although Tesla's prices have increased, the company still receives many orders, and some models still have 6 to 10 month lead times. According to reports from the Wall Street Journal, Panasonic is looking at establishing a new battery plant in Kansas to provide new 4680 cells for Tesla. Elon Musk was asked on Twitter when we can expect Tesla to cut pricing again. Before this latest claim came out, Panasonic was looking for a new large battery manufacturing factory in the United States to construct a new 4680 battery cell for Tesla. According to Nikkei, a Japanese trade journal that frequently reveals important information about Japanese corporations such as Panasonic, the new battery plant that Panasonic is planning to build will be situated in Kansas. Panasonic is hard at work developing innovations that will increase cell density by a factor of 20 by 2030. This is being done to meet the anticipated annual demand for hundreds of gigawatt hours of battery cells in the production of Cybertrucks and the Tesla Semi, as well as the current Model Y vehicle that is still on Panasonic's line. These enhancements have the potential to increase the accessibility of electricity. Gains in the efficiency of 900 watt hours per liter can be achieved by increasing the energy density by a factor of 20. This battery outperforms Panasonic's current top of the line batteries by a significant margin, with an average of 750 watt hours per liter of capacity. When a spokesperson for Panasonic was asked to comment on whether or not the company's new battery technology would be implemented in its Tesla 2170 or 4680 cells, the spokesperson declined to do so. Latinabe stated that the company anticipates increasing battery density within the next few years, but he did not mention when upgraded cells will be made available to the public. By the end of the year, Tesla will have closed the gap with the power walls of Australia. Tesla Chair Denim is confident that his company will be able to surpass the sales of local automotive manufacturers in this country within the next year. It does not appear likely that they will lose any ground before then, considering that there are currently 26,500 units on the roads of Australia and that production levels have been increasing at an accelerated pace over the past few weeks. This is especially true when considering the number of additional cars that are anticipated to come off shipment once Musk finishes making improvements. Already, there is a great deal of excitement and anticipation Participation surrounding the Tesla Model Y, which is not expected to be released until 2023. This fully electric sport utility vehicle will be one of the most impressive vehicles that Tesla has produced. If you are considering purchasing an electric vehicle soon, you should ensure that the Tesla Model Y is on your list of potential purchases. We appreciate your time, and we hope you'll remember to like this video and subscribe to What Up Techies so that you never miss an update on anything related to science and technology.